Hi, I'm Lee Bins, the Home Scholar, and I am joining you today from the lovely yet oh-so-rainy Seattle area, um, which made me think, how do you teach PE when it rains all the time like it does in Seattle? Now, it's not like it's snowing all the time like it does in other places, and it's not 110 degrees like it is in other places, but every homeschooler, it seems, at some point or another, is faced with PE inside the house. <laughs> Um, one thing I wanted to point out though is that if you are in a rainy climate, uh, it's important to note that unlike what happened in the Wizard of Oz, children do not melt in the rain, okay? So if you want to send them outside, I have been known to do that and it is perfectly okay. No harm will befall them, okay? Um, however, there are times when you need to do PE inside and I think one thing that's really important is to remember that PE does not stand for physical exercise. Does that just blow your mind or what? It actually stands for physical education. So on particularly rainy days, you could just educate your children about physicalness, right? So you might do health or nutrition or um, maybe you watch some videos on health or nutrition or you, you spend the day talking about healthy relationships or um, some other sort of physical aspect. Maybe you're, you're doing uh, muscle groups, you're just studying muscle groups. Or perhaps you're using your exercise equipment, you know the one that's buried under your pile of laundry, uh, that one. So you could use that sort of thing and, and it's all your PE. So as you're thinking about your homeschool PE credits, just remember that it's physical education and it can include any sort of exercise, any sort of nutrition, any health, any first aid, any running on your uh, treadmill or work on your exercise bike. I think it'll get used, used. It'll be great. <laughs> okay, have a great day and I'll talk to you next time.